Oswald Spengler, I want to know, Jonathan, uh, do you think the gnosis of time travel can be applied to the cyclical theory of history as espoused by Spengler and Toynbee? Uh, absolutely, yes. Uh, although I don't know the specifics of the theory as espoused by those particular um, espousers of it. But a cyclical version of history would essentially be like a corkscrewing spiral, uh, which essentially is the pattern that is formed by the orbit of our planet around the sun uh, over a period of time, the aeons, you know, thousands of years. Uh, and lengths of time and the ice ages and so forth. So there's certainly something to be said for the uh, cyclical nature of, of time being progressive as well as repetitive. Right. History so, repeats itself, right? That's exactly. <laughs> well, it rhymes, supposedly. It doesn't necessarily repeat itself exactly, but <laughs> Mark it does Twain, right? Yeah. repeat with modification. <laughs> 